Well, I think their concerns are very valid because what we have now isn't working for Kentucky. From our seniors down to our students, we have to have someone who believes, as I do, uh, that this isn't the lost generation. In the era of texting and tweeting and chatting, uh, pundits bet against them. They said they wouldn't show up in the prior election. I didn't take that bet. I bet on them. And they actually increased their turnout by 1%. I bet on them in this election. They show up and they'll have a senator who knows the struggles that they are going through, believes that we should have someone backing our students, giving them the ability to actually afford to go to college, earn degrees, not debt, instead of one that has turned his back and chosen to back Wall Street instead of our students. I know uh, the struggles that Kentucky students are going through. We have 360,000 students carrying $20,000 on average of student loan debt. That's horrible. It's wrong. It, it, it is a sign and a signal that Washington isn't working, especially for the future of this state. Education it is the passport into the middle class. And I believe that our students, our recent graduates, they shouldn't be struggling to be a part uh, of uh, especially a bright future of Kentucky and of this nation because they have student loan debt higher than their mortgage. I've sat down and had these conversations in Boyle County uh, with the uh, recent graduates that have gotten that great degree. They have got good paying jobs, but they can't make the investment yeah in the house that they want to buy for their growing family because they've got student loan payments higher than their mortgage. Mm -hmm. We can address this, but it requires a senator that has the jobs plan that does specifically address making sure we're training our workers for the jobs of today, not just for today, but for tomorrow, and that we are giving our students equal footing, uh, especially to bring a bright future to Kentucky. That's a very good question. And polls today indicate that for the first time in anybody's memory, the history of polling. People are concerned about leaving behind a better country for their children and their parents left behind for them. That's been the belief of every generation going back to the founding fathers that we had a generational obligation to leave behind a better America than our parents left behind for us. Why are people questioning that these days? I'll tell you. We've added more debt during the Obama years and all the presidents from George Bush, from George Washington down to George Bush. We have the slow economic growth, which depresses the job market. It's been particularly acute for 18 to 30 year olds hmm. who get out of school and f can't find that they're living back at home because they can't find work. The solution to lifting the spirits of the people of this country, and in particularly the, your students and younger people, is to have jobs and opportunity and a future. And that is directly related to the behavior of the federal government. The spending, the borrowing, the taxing, the regulating have all had a depressing effect on the economy, keeping the job growth much lower than it should be, and thereby depressing the spirits of, ironically, a group of people who mostly voted for the president. I mean, they've really not <laughs> the young gotten a very good deal out of mm -hmm. this so far. But look, I, I'm always reminded of what Churchill said about the Americans. He said, you know, the Americans always do the right thing after they've tried everything else first. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, we've tried all this stuff. Yeah. You know, we've made America look like a Western European country. Big debts, high taxes, overregulation, slow growth. We ought to go in a different direction. And I'm confident, whether it's in the last two years of Barack Obama or soon thereafter, we are going to go in a different direction and they are going to have a bright future. We, we always fix our problems. We've been through civil wars and world wars and all the rest. We'll get this fixed.